Hello everyone, Danny here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for The Exorcism at 1600 Pen Number 1. This is a new book from IDW. Let's talk about the creative team before we get into this book. This book is written by Hannah Rose May, with art by Vanessa Del Rey, colors by Jordi Belair, letters by Hassan Otsmani El Hau. Uh, very, very excited for this one. Uh, we talked a little bit about it on our last live, and I did get to read the ash can, but now I have read the full thing. It's an oversized issue, uh, around almost 50 pages of story you're getting here, uh, which makes great for a, a $5 new number one from IDW. Uh, let me give you a quick synopsis here, especially because we are getting into spooky season. Uh, so this is a perfect book to get in the mood. This October, IDW debuts a chilling new four-issue original supernatural horror series perfect for fans of the ni nice house on the lake and the haunted of Hill House. From the pen of rising comics writer Hannah Rose May, who's written things like Rogue's Gallery, and acclaimed artist Vanessa Del Rey, uh, who's done comic books like The Scarlet Witch, Kelly Doyle has just been elected the first woman president of the United States of America, and the boiling political tension could spill over at any minute. Having to balance being a mother to two teenagers and navigating the shifting media landscape, all while preventing World War III, has Kelly spread very thin. But she could never predict that the nation's hollowed halls would soon become a demonic battleground for good versus evil. What in the world, right? What a what a premise. Um, yeah, we discussed a little bit about it. There's a lot going on in this book, but man, oh man. I really, really enjoyed this first issue, uh, and I think the the best part is the the tension comes from everything, but the supernatural stuff for a big part of this book. Uh, just the ideas that are being brought in here, the social media, you know, talking about this new president, uh, the time period we we begin with the first day uh, that Kelly is president. Her family adjusting to becoming the first family, right? The kids going to a new school, having having security details. It is so well put together. But then, of course, things start to build up. Tension grows larger. Uh, and then it kind of keeps you guessing a little bit as to how this exorcist or how the possession may come about, where the source may be, uh, because there's so much, so many things happening from so many angles, right? Uh, it is such a fun ride. Uh, at four issues, I can tell we're going to get a really just fun, concrete little story. That's the, it, this may become a, a holiday, like a Halloween classic, just to kind of read. Um, if, if it keeps up at the quality of this first issue, I'm definitely going to recommend this as a spooky read for like every year. Uh, but we'll have to see about that, right? Um, the issue does a great job, like I said, building the tension. Big part of that comes from uh, Del Rey's art and the colors from Jordi Belair. Uh, Del Rey's art is a little bit stylized, a little bit, I'm going to call it scratchy. Like it's not too detailed, it's not uh, oversimplified. Uh, there's a lot of heavy uh, like lines and inks and, and like I said, the colors, uh, they really shift, especially because uh, we're either at night or it's an enclosed room, right? Because if you're in the White House, there's not really a lot of rooms there, there's got to be a lot of security around so definitely everything feels very tight and dark and dense and crowded and and the art really shows that so let me put up some of the uh preview art that we have so as you can see here a cloudy day here as the inauguration uh, but i do love that the family kind of stands out amongst the crowd right with the red coat and the red scarf and even the red hair and the blue touch from uh from her son. So like, that's really interesting way to meet the family. Um, I just love that we see them have dinner. And one of the kids uh, is a little bit more chill, laid back. Uh, the other one, unfortunately, feels a little bit more pressure now being into this role of the first daughter. Uh, and also just like all the stuff that they have to experience as, as teens growing up uh, with somebody that uh, is talked about in social media so much, which even, you know, they themselves could get dragged in. Obviously, going into school, like for the first, a new school for the first day, that's always going to be um, 
very, very uh, ominous going into it, into a new place. And then you're different. This is a, it is a Catholic school that they end up going to, which I think it's an interesting twist as well. So, yeah, as you can see, uh, Del Rey's art is not too um, detailed as far. I think that makes it even better. I, I appreciate that the lack of like focus and hyper detail in these characters. Everything looks always a little bit off, a lot, a lot of skew. Uh, let me bring up that page, that last page. Even just the the paneling here, the layouts of the panel, like it really kind of feels like you're kind of walking through this hole from different angles, right? Uh, and then once again, Belair's colors, like with the red hair and the red jacket, uh, there's little touches of like these really fun details. Uh, and then things just kind of go from there. They really escalate. Uh, but I think what I enjoy the most so far has been how the family has to adapt to this new situation that they're in uh, because they're in it together at least. So that's nice. Uh, the parents both make time for the kids, even though they're so busy with like everything that's going on, this new environment. Uh, and the kids are active in school overall. So like we get to, we get to really get to know the family. They're not just like a family that gets dropped into the situation. Uh, and that's kind of what leads you to feel a little bit more for the characters. So I really enjoy this first issue. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, and also, I'm a pretty big fan, although I don't really watch a lot of scary movies anymore. Like uh, The Exorcism of Emily Rose is one of my favorite horror movies. Uh, so I do enjoy this kind of trope of the possession. Now, obviously, this is a way different setting uh, than anything I've seen before. So very exciting stuff. Um, there's only a few covers, uh, but there's a lot of really cool detail in each one of them. If you take a look, uh, so stay tuned. You'll see those at the end of the video. And if you have read this, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Uh, stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.